My name is Norm Breedlove, and I'm going to show you the hydrogen fueling process. So we're down here in Del Mar, and it's the only fueling station right now in San Diego. So what we're doing is a simulated fuel. This vehicle is almost full, so we don't want to go through that whole process. So the first thing that you should do is put your vehicle in park and parking brake on. And the next thing you want to do is open up the fuel filler. Now pops open the fuel filler door. Take off your dust cap. Come over to the machine and it looks like a regular fuel pump. Insert your credit card. Put in your code. Goes through the process. Approves it. Then what you do is wait for it to tell you that the machine is ready to fill. You pick up the nozzle. You pull back on the blue collar so it passes the yellow stripe. Insert it onto the nipple. Give a little tug, make sure it's connected and then you push your grade. This happens to be an H70 vehicle, so we're gonna push the H70. The infrared on the nozzle speaks to the car, tells it how much fuel it needs, and it begins fueling. Then it goes through a process of measuring the pressure in the tank, so it, it, it'll turn off and turn on several times through the fuel and uh, it takes about five minutes. So let's say we've gone through the process, the vehicle is ready, is full, and it's ready to be released. You hold on to the black handle, pull back on the blue collar, pull the nozzle out, and then you replace it. Put the dust cap back on, close the door, and you're ready to go. So when you pull up to a hydrogen fueling station, it, it looks very similar to a regular fueling station. And the whole process is, is very similar as well. So it, it's not something that's unfil unfamiliar to most people. The time it takes to fuel is also very similar. From empty to full is about five minutes. Right here we have $13.99 per kilogram. A kilogram is equivalent to two gallons of fuel. Uh, as far as energy but uh, the price of the the hydrogen is more expensive than gasoline some people think that hydrogen is a dangerous material and it's it's not it's it's a very light as far as it's lighter than air so if you have fuel that escapes it dissipates quickly whereas gasoline will puddle and gasoline is very easy to ignite hydrogen needs the right amount of air, the right amount of hydrogen, and just the right spark to actually get it to ignite. So it's a very safe fuel. So now you're full, and you're ready to drive another 250 or so miles, depending on how aggressive you are with the throttle.